to show you how to achieve this hair colour. Cha! Really hope that was in focus. I did a Twitter poll on Twitter um, on Monday and therefore into Tuesday because I did a 24 hour one asking if you wanted to see a video on how I dyed my hair on Sunday or how um, or a craft tutorial and the poll hasn't yet finished but there's two hours left and craft tutorial is winning so I'm going to assume craft tutorial is going to win um, so which is why you aren't getting this hair video on Sunday but getting it today instead but yeah today I am showing you how I achieved this hair color I'm not going to be bleaching my hair in the video I already have a video on how I bleach my hair and I but I am a strong believer that um, you should go to a professional to get your hair bleached they have years and years and years of training um, so they really they know what they're doing um, so yeah go to a professional to get your hair bleached I know I'm stupid I do it myself before we get on with the tutorial, I just want to remind you that if you're enjoying it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more hair tutorials every so often, but mainly craft tutorials, which is what happens here in the corner of craft. But yes, that's enough waffling. Let's just get on with the video, shall we? Okay, so I've got makeup on for once at the start of these videos, um, because usually I just look like crap. But I don't today. I just, I took my face right, so I've bleached my hair. And then I took a shower and obviously my face makeup came off but my eye makeup stayed intact so we've, I've decided to roll with it. So the colours that I'm using today to make the creation that you have already seen is Lagoon Blue, my standard go-to, you're going to see some old favourites. So we've got Lagoon Blue, we have Carnation Pink, we have Apple Green, I don't know how much of this I'm going to use, I don't have much left. We've got Plum. Um, these are all by directions, by the way. The reach direction. Um, and then I've got the smallest amount of rose red and violet that I'm just going to use up and mix in with the pink and the purple, respectively. But I could have sworn I had three brushes, and I think I do this every time. I always think I have three brushes when actually I only have two. So somehow I've got to try and make this work, but I'm sure I'll manage. So I have my towel that I wipe my hands on. That's just going to sit in the sink. Um, I've got my other towel, which is my like my normal body towel, but I'm just going to pop that on the floor for when I drip my hair dye everywhere. I have a hair tie around my wrist, I have gloves on. Let's go. So I'm going to start out by emptying all of this Lagoon Blue into a pot. Because um, this is going to be my root colour, as you've seen. So I know I'm going to use all of it. And any I don't use can just go back in the pot at the end anyway, so it's not too heartbreaking, it's not a waste. So I've got some conditioner. The reason it's in German is because I live in Germany. I'm just gonna put some conditioner in like this, and then mix that together. Gonna make it more difficult to do four colors if I've only got two brushes. Christ, okay. I'm gonna get pink next. My carnation pink. Can you fix on my face? Can you come back to my face? There we go. And I'm going to do maybe half the pop. I don't need as much because I'm not putting it on all of the ends of my hair. And once again, I can always add more if I need to. And then I'm just gonna finish up this rose red. Um, just because there's no point me having a pot of so little sat around. I don't know why I didn't just chuck that out, but hey. Once again, adding conditioner. Rinsed off the brush, going in to my third and final pot with plum. Because I have almost a full pot of it. Oh, that has been diluted already. Okay, good to know. Finishing up the violet. Can't believe I'm already five minutes into this video. Not adding as much conditioner to that one, just because it's already been diluted a bit. But it is a super dark colour, so it can 
and get away with adding a bit more conditioner. And then the green I'm just going to leave as is and whack that in every so often. Right. Wear an old t-shirt. Don't forget that part. Oh, these gloves really hurt the hair. Okay, now I'm just gonna sort of like section it off and then put random colors on and then blend it into the blue. So I'm gonna grab this piece here and put purple on it, I think. Cause it's already got quite a bit of blue on it. So if I put pink on it, it will already be going purple. And just make sure you blend those really well. Otherwise it's stripey and not as fun. And then wipe your hands on your towel, which is why it's important to have it. Otherwise you'll be mixing colors all over the place. Make sure it's an old towel, obviously. Make sure it's an old towel.
camera, as usual, decided to cut out whilst I was dyeing my hair. It was newly charged that morning, but I kind of forgot that I had already filmed two videos, so... Sorry! But yeah, I just continued striping my hair, making sure it was well blended all the way up. Um, and then I wrapped it in a plastic bag. I left it on for an hour and a half to two hours, I can't remember, I think I only left it on for an hour and a half. And then rinsed it out, no conditioner, just very cold, well, lukewarm water. I'm a bit, a bit lax with the whole cold water thing, because it's, um, I hate taking cold showers. But this is what it's come out at. Um, so I've obviously, I braided my hair last night to go to sleep because I sleep with my hair braided and so um, I didn't want to add any heat to it because it's newly bleached um, so I've decided to braid it instead but you can see all the different colours in it with the greens and the pink and the purple and the blue it's nice, it's fun and the plait is magical but yes Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Your support means the world to me and why not hit subscribe. I post a new craft tutorial here in the corner of craft every Sunday and then I post bonus videos in the week as well for your enjoyment like this one here because you didn't want it on Sunday. Don't forget to check out my social media. Links are all in the description box below this video as well as the colors that I use to achieve this hair colour. Oh yeah, I've got a very thin braid. It's one of those things that you're just gonna have to deal with. But yes, I think that's everything I have to say. Thank you very much for watching this video and I shall see you very soon in my next one. Bye! fun crochet tutorial for you.